So we've been talking about um, energy, heat, and work. We discussed some ways that um, heat transfers energy between different systems. And now we're going to talk a little bit about work. So one type of work is pressure volume work. This work is caused by a volume changing against an external pressure. So we've got um, a picture here of an internal combustion engine. So inside these um, pistons here, the gasoline combusts, basically explodes, and pushes the piston down. So that is uh, a volume expansion against a pressure that's work. Here in this piston, we see the initial state of this orange gas. Um, and then when that gas expands, it presses against the piston to uh, change its volume. So the change in volume is positive when a gas expands. But the gas is the system, and so the system is doing work on the surroundings, and that should be negative, right? Work being done on the system is positive. Work being done by the system is negative. W here, then, needs to be negative. So it's the pressure times the change in volume. Pressure can't be negative. Change in volume in this instant is positive, and so we just put a negative sign in there to get the correct sign. So pressure times volume would be something like atmospheres times liter. Right? That doesn't seem like a unit of energy or work. So we, there's a conversion. To convert those units to joules, we've got this factor here, which um, will be given to you, but you need to remember that it exists. 101.3 joules is equal to one atmosphere liter, or one liter atmosphere. So we've seen a couple of different um, ideal gas constants. This is the one we've used for gas laws. It's got liter atmospheres in the numerator. And the one we used when we were talking about um, root mean square velocity of a gas, uh, 3.8, 8.4, 8 8.314? I'm blanking. 8.314, right, yeah. See, that's why I give it to you on the exam, because I blank out sometimes. 8.304, thank you. And the unit on that is joules per mole Kelvin. So the difference in units here is not the mole and the Kelvin part, it's the liter atmospheres. This is the relationship between joules and liter atmospheres. So a cylinder equipped with a piston expands against an external pressure of 1.58 atmospheres. If the initial volume is 0.485 liters, the final volume is 1.245 liters. How much work in joules is done? So this is pressure volume work. So this work is equal to negative pressure times change in volume. So change in volume. The delta means final minus initial. So this is the final volume minus the initial volume. Volumes can't be negative, but a change in volume can be negative. Right? You can go from a bigger gas to a smaller gas. The change would be negative. So the final volume, and they were really nice and actually labeled it, the final volume is, so that's 1.245 liters. The initial volume is 0.485 liters. So we subtract 1.245. My calculator is saying 0.76. This should be 0 0.760 liters. That's the change in volume. And the pressure is given right here, 1.58 atmospheres. So the work is equal to negative uh, 1.58 atmospheres times the change in volume, 0 0.760 liters. So we do the math there. And that's uh, minus 1.2008.
What are the units on that? Atmospheres times liters. Is that the unit the question wants us to give? No, it says how much work in joules. So we need to convert this. So the work is negative 1.2008 atmosphere liters. So we need to use that conversion factor that 101.3 joules is equal to one atmosphere liter. Now I'm just gonna double check that I remember that correctly. 101.3 joules is one atmosphere liter. So I take that uh, minus 1.2008 and multiply by 101.3. So still negative 121.64, three sig figs, unit is joules now, minus 122 joules. What's the negative mean? The work is being done by the system, okay? Sometimes, especially on mastering chemistry, the question tells us the direction of the work or the energy, the heat flow. It's like with money. If I say, well, I went to the store and I bought this thing for $5, does that mean I got $5 when I took the thing? No, I spent $5. So for me, it was negative, but I don't say it was negative five. I didn't spend negative five. The word spend tells us that the money's leaving me, right? So then we don't use the negative sign. So here, and I'm sorry, it is confusing. Sometimes you have to use the negative sign and other times, especially mastering chemistry is very picky about this. It, it wants to just, because of the words, it wants a positive number. So here is saying how much work is done um, this one's a little ambiguous. If it said how much work is done by the system, then we should probably leave the negative off because I don't say I bought that for negative $5. I say I paid $5 for that, right? And that tells the direction. If I say 122 joules of work was done by the system, then I don't need the negative sign. If I say the work done is what? minus 122 joules. So how much work is done, it's not really specifying, is it the system or the surroundings? So I'm gonna leave the, the negative sign there. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. Pardon me? If, if the piston expanded because the pressure went down or because the pressure was inside, then it's not going against an external pressure and then the, the work would be the opposite direction. Is that what you mean? This, this pressure volume work business, uh, we have to talk about it and get an understanding of it only so that we can go on and disregard it later. Um, so it's not a huge deal, but try to get your mind around it. <laughs>